This is the week of July 21st, 2014. This should be a fabulous week to get things done. Not only does the sun enter into bold and brassy Leo, which should be significant for all the fire signs, Aries, Sagittarius, and especially Leos, and also all air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, but also station Saturn, station, Saturn stations direct. As I've mentioned before, Saturn is the planet that governs responsibility, accountability, and doing the right thing. With this mighty orb in direct, which is forward motion, we can see our attention brought to tying up loose ends and getting down to long ignored business. Delays that once plagued us now seem to evaporate as we gain traction in a number of areas of our lives. Do you know where Saturn is in your chart? Do you know that each of us has Saturn somewhere in our astrological profile? If you know where it's located, you can now finally see tangible progress in that part of your life. If you don't know where it is, then you should be sure to contact me to find out. To make matters even more engaging, we will see Mars, which is also direct, move out of the shadow that has long plagued him since his own retrograde. With Saturn and Mars both in good position, you should see all real action in your lives. The area that you see the action will be determined by the house or sector of your life where these planets appear. And that is different for all of us, based on our time of birth. It's very important. The time of birth sets what is known as the ascendant or rising sign. You hear me speak about this quite a bit, simply because it is the one point of the astrology chart that makes us unique. This sets the stage for all the action in our, li in our lives, and it's imperative that you know and remember that position in your individual charts. Contact me directly for the specifics at chris at chrisflisher.com. Getting back to Mars. The planet of ambition, action, and yes, even aggression. Mars has been laboring under a shadow. This shadow is the familiar territory over, which, over territory over which it covered its own lengthy and tedious retrograde. This is known as the shadow period. And while not as powerful and influential as the true retrograde, it still bears noting. Now that Mars is free, and trust me, Mars likes to be free, we can see definitive action in any area of our lives where Mars is located. The same data applies as it does for Saturn. Also, this particular note is Mars is moving into Scorpio on this Friday, the 25th. Mars will finally be in a comfortable sign. Mars is the contemporary co-ruler of Scorpio, along with Pluto, and as a result, wields greater power and influence while it is there. Anyone who has a strong Mars in their individual charts will see great benefit from Mars and Scorpio. All this great forward-moving energy is underscored by a new moon in Leo, on Saturday, July 26th. New moons are great opportunities to set a new course and begin something unique and alternate to what you may have been pursuing to date. This packs a significant punch when properly noted, and this is one of the true secrets of astrology, one which gets lost in the chatter. When you know what is about to occur you, and you can apply it to your own pursuits, you can witness amazing results. Timing is truly everything. Do not discount free will by any stretch of the imagination, but being in the right place while things are happening with significant planets is the key to your individual success. Listen each Friday morning to Turning of the Wheel on Awakening Zone Radio at 11 o'clock Eastern Time. Great artists, great topics, information that you can use. And you can call me at 714-364-4353 or write to me for a reading and get the real, true picture of your life. Chris at chrisflusher.com. Call me at 978-393-1036. My website is www.chrisflusher.com or www.turningofthewheel.com. I will see you all next week.